you hear from? Your past is a gift. Okay, I'm trying to stay more regular with the video so there's not so much of a gap. Um, I didn't want to disappear for too long before I came back again. So welcome if it's your first time. I'm Holly. I've written a book called Your Past is a Gift and in this book it's a guide. It can take you through your whole life and teach you how to forgive and how to understand others and more importantly or most importantly I guess is to understand yourself because once you can start to understand you and how you behave and how you interact with others you'll more clearly be able to see it in others it's I think for me the, the moment of clarity was when I started to see myself and how I was interacting or reacting to certain situations and then all of a sudden it just seemed so obvious when you'd see other people doing the same so the book will guide you through that more than anything else it can teach you to see the human being inside of you and it can teach you to see the human being in every other person that you come into contact with every single day or you have come into contact with in your life you know people that you think what was the reason for that why did that happen to me this whole book will guide you through that through that whole journey it's a wonderful wonderful experience I would recommend it to everybody because you know we're born and from the very beginning we're always taught to look at others you know we're taught to judge others and we're taught to criticize others and you know this person's nice and this person's not so nice and this person is good and that's a bad person but you know very few of us grow up and we're taught to look at ourselves what are we doing what are we contributing who are we being you know so we spend our whole lives looking outside looking at everybody else and trying to put everyone else into a little box putting them you know giving them all a little label you know that this person is good enough to be my friend that this person isn't good enough I don't want to have anything to do with them they're not a nice person for whatever reason you know whatever it is that you just don't you know there's no common ground for you but you know, these videos and my book are really to start looking at yourself. You know, it's funny, I've been thinking the last few days. We're taught, you know, when I was little, I went to church and we were taught, you know, one of the um, commandments is thou shalt not kill. You know, that's, that's a bad thing, apparently. You know, you can't kill another person. And yet, when we do it in the name of war, it's totally acceptable. You know, so really the, the next few videos I wanted to touch on is our beliefs, why we believe the things that we believe, our thoughts, why we, you know, get stuck into certain patterns in our thoughts. You know, you find thoughts that keep coming back all the time. They just repeat and repeat and repeat. And it's like they're on autopilot, you know, you just can't seem to get off that train of thought that keeps coming back and it just sabotages that area of your life whether it be that you're not good enough to have you know a nice partner someone that will treat you with dignity and respect someone you know that will love you for who you are so that's just one example you know my main one has always been that there's a lack of money and that's the thought that keeps repeating and repeating there's a lack in my mind so in the next few videos because I promised I was going to keep them nice and short for you now we're going to talk about how these beliefs develop and how they're created and you know hopefully by the end of it <laughs> we'll be able to get off that track and onto a new track that we can create you know a completely different life if that's what we want you know we can keep repeating the patterns that our parents have set and our grandparents have set and those before them you can happily keep doing that although for many of us it's not such a happy pattern you know if it's something that is creating joy in your life keep doing that you know that's a good thing but we're talking about those things that hold you back those beliefs and those thoughts that don't let you move forward okay where did they come from why do we still believe them you know very important questions have you ever stopped have you ever sat down by yourself and thought 
why do I believe that whatever that is you know like thou shalt not kill okay I believe that it's not a nice thing we shouldn't go around killing other people but why where did it come from right because you're not born with these thoughts in your head you're born and there's there's no thoughts all you're doing is just taking in your environment there are no thoughts when you're born except you know from experience if something makes you feel good, then you laugh, you giggle, you know, as a child, as a baby. If you're hungry, you cry. If you're thirsty, you cry. If you're tired, you cry. You already have all these instincts built into you. What comes in after you're born is thrown in from your environment. And that's what you need to start addressing. Is it serving you? Or is it something that's just not giving you any joy at all? then why are you holding on to it? That's what we're going to talk about in the next few videos. All right? I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.